to learn history you need to come to church to learn holiness uh, just like your children uh, need to go to school to learn science uh, you need to come to church to learn salvation uh, just like your children uh, need to go to school to learn math uh, you need to come to church uh, to learn about God's mercy preach Pastor Bracken Roy Elton I'm doing the best I can oh they did not they did not quit they, they did even more than what they had been doing. And I've come to tell somebody that whenever we quit during our seasons of suffering, that simply means that we've got more confidence in ourselves than we do in the power of God. I feel the unction of the Holy Ghost right here, so let me labor right there. Whatever, whatever you're going through, you got to have enough faith to believe that God has not allowed it to destroy you. But God has allowed it to develop you. And I got proof. God wants his children to testify. Take somebody's hand and look at them and shake that hand real good and tell them testify. Now here's your shout. How can you testify that he's a healer if you haven't ever been sick? How can you testify that he's a provider and you ain't never been broke? How can you testify that he's a company keeper and you ain't never been lonely? How can you testify that he'll make a way and you ain't never had your back up against the wall? How can you testify that he's a deliverer and you ain't never been on lockdown? Am I preaching to anybody who can testify to the fact that you got your testimony why are you in some of your seasons of suffering? I got to get out of here. I've held you. I've held you long enough. But, but it's finally, finally right here in our text that we see that these people were able to rejoice. They were able to thank God for the suffering because they did not question the suffering <laughs> these people realize that they qualified for the suffering they were determined yes not to quit while they were suffering mm, but let me close by telling you along how verse number 42 concludes the Bible, the Bible says they did not uh, cease teaching and uh, preaching Jesus as the Christ. And, yeah, that, uh, that lets me know that uh, they refused to keep quiet even after the suffering. In other words, they went to uh, right on back uh, to the temple and they, they refused to stop uh, talking about Jesus and uh, I wonder if I'm preaching uh, to anybody uh, who knows uh, that talking uh, about Jesus uh, will get you in trouble but uh, talking uh, about Jesus uh, will also get you uh, out of trouble and I, I've come all along to tell somebody that no matter what you're going through, don't you dare keep quiet. The Bible says, let the, the redeemed of the Lord talk back to me, say so. And I wonder if I'm preaching to any redeemed folk. And uh, if you know uh, that you've been uh, redeemed, uh, take a neighbor by the hand. Uh, look at him uh, right in the face uh, and say, child of God, uh, if you've been redeemed, uh, you ought to be saying something. If you know the Lord uh, has made a way, uh, you ought to be uh, saying something. If you know the Lord uh, has brought you out, uh, you ought to be uh, saying something. If the Lord has healed your body, you ought to be saying something. 
And I've come to tell somebody that they didn't mind suffering for the Lord because they realize all that the Lord has suffered for them. And am I preaching to anybody who knows that the Lord has suffered for you? Am I preaching to anybody who knows that you would have been on your way to hell if Jesus had not suffered for you? Shake somebody real good. Look at them right in the face and say, child of God, when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he done for me, I got it right in my mind that I'm not going to keep quiet. I'm going to tell somebody what the Lord had done. Anybody know he's a way maker? Anybody know he's a heart fixer? Anybody know he's a mind regulator? Well, fix fist bump somebody and say, neighbor, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I got too much to keep quiet about because when I look back over my life and see where the Lord had brought me from, is there anybody here know he been good? Is there anybody here know he made a way? Is there anybody here know the Lord had brought you out? Well, throw your arm around somebody. Look at them right in the face and say, child of God, help me make some noise in this house about the goodness of the Lord. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Anybody here know that if it had not been for the Lord on your side, you would have been cut off a long time ago. Now let me give you something to really make noise about. At a hill called Calvary, over 2,000 years ago, they lifted him high and they dropped him low. Anybody here know anything about Jesus? Find you a shout neighbor. Take that neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I know Jesus, Mary's baby, Joseph's stepchild, Zacharias and Elizabeth's nephew, James's older brother, John the Baptist's first cousin, and God's holy son. Where my Jesus folk at? Anybody here know Jesus? My rock in a weary land. I can't keep quiet. I gotta tell somebody that one Friday at a hill called Calvary, they lifted him higher and they dropped him low. Can I tell you what he did? He hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. He died. Didn't he die? Didn't he die? They took him down from the old rugged cross and they laid, 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 laid. They laid him in a cold, dark grave and he stayed there all night Friday and all day Saturday and all night Saturday night. But I got good news from the Jerusalem graveyard. I gotta get out of here. But can I holler just one time? Can I holler just one time? Can I holler just one time? I told you he died. I told you he was buried. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Now let me pull the house. Ain't he all right? I said, ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? I said, ain't he all right? Throw your arm around somebody and say, neighbor, it may be a little rough right now, but shout your way through. Praise your way through. Give God glory. And is there anybody here? No, if you hold on, God will turn that thing around. Won't he turn it around? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he bring you out? Now, if they could suffer and they could rejoice, then surely you ought to be able to rejoice about your Cadillac, rejoice about your Mercedes, rejoice about your BMW. And if you ain't got no Cadillac, ain't got no Mercedes, if you don't have a BMW, I dare you to praise him for your bus fare. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? If you don't have a steak, I dare you to praise him for your happy meal. If you don't have a lobster, I dare you to praise him for your tuna fish sandwich. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Say yeah! 
somebody and say, neighbor, I ain't going to keep quiet when I think about the goodness of Jesus and everything that he done for me. I got to make some noise. Where my noise is so good. Anybody know he been good? Anybody know he made a way? Anybody know he brought you out? Look at somebody still in that seat. Shake that person real good and say, neighbor, help me make some noise. Neighbor, help me give God glory. Neighbor, help me praise the Lord. Ain't God all right? Oh, yeah. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Thank God for the suffering. Even in the midst of everything, I've still learned not to keep quiet, but to shout my way right on through. The door of the church is open. Leroy comes, the door is open. Even right now, while the blood is running warm in your veins, the brothers are coming to extend to you the invitation to Christian discipleship, to a new life in Jesus Christ, church membership. Right now, right now, whatever you're dealing with that's keeping you from Jesus, let it go right now. He can handle it better than you can. The door is open. I've had some good days. I've had some heels to climb. I've had some weary days. And quite a few sleepless nights. But when I, when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days, and I, I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low I can hardly see See the road And I, I ask the question, Lord Lord, why, why so much pain? But he What's best for me? Although my weary eyes sometimes they just can't see, so I'll, I'll just say thank you, Lord. I I won't complain, cause God. to me more than this whole world or you could ever be he's been so good he's been so good to me yeah. he drank all my tears away drank my tears away Turn my midnight in the day. So I, I say thank you, Lord. 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 And I, 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 I won't, I won't 
God, God has been real, real good to you and me. Anybody here know he's been real good, real good to you and me. Throw your arm around somebody and tell them more than you or this whole wide world could ever be. Now shake somebody and ask them how good has he been. Tell him he's been real good, real good, real good, real good to me, 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 me. He tries all my, all my tears away. Anybody ever been stopped in your crying by God? Turn my midnights in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell you what you ought to do. We're getting ready to get out of here. But just, just lift those hands and say, thank you, Lord. I've been lied on. But thank you, Lord. I've had bills that I could not pay. But thank you, Lord. I've had sickness in my body. But thank you, Lord. I've had friends to stab me in my back. But thank you, Lord. I've suffered sometimes, but thank you, Lord. Ah, I won't complain. Why, God? He's been real good to me. Anybody here know he's been good? Been real good to me. More than this whole world. All you could ever be Somebody shout real good Real good Real good ah! Real good to me Yeah, 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 yeah He cries all my tears away Has he ever stopped you from crying? Turn my midnights Look at somebody and tell them if you wait on him, he'll turn it around, turn it in the day. Now throw your arm around somebody and tell them, hush your complaining. Don't you fuss another day. Just lift those hands and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. I know my time is over, but he showed me it good. He showed me it good. He showed up and has been good. Been good to me. I ain't the only one ever. He's been good to me. Yeah. He dry, he dry, he dry.